Good day, gorgeous people. It is T minus two days before my big worldwide adventure, and it's time to start packing. Even before I start contemplating what I'm taking on this trip, I need my Jera. Oh, sweet nectar of life. Mm. Oh, that's good. I am sitting on crap. So what do you pack when you haven't planned out your trip? And that's kind of the big conundrum I'm facing at the moment. I know that the first leg of my trip is going to involve Asia, so I've got to factor in heat, humidity, so plenty of changes of light clothes. Um, but then where that takes me after? There is also the fact that I am heading to Europe later in the year. Um, and that's all been scheduled, so there is an extensive road trip around United Kingdom, so that's England and Scotland, and there is going to be a short kind of little visit to Denmark as well, so I've got to factor in cooler conditions. How do I fit all of that into a limited, you know, into a small pack? It's impossible, because I will admit I am a hoarder, and when it comes to packing, I tend to just pack everything. And historically, that's resulted in me only using maybe a fraction of what I pack. But this trip is different. This is not a work trip. Um, it's, it's, for the most part, a solo trip with a focus purely on food and filming for YouTube. So obviously, what's going to be very heavy is it's going to be technology centric. Um, I'm not a an excessively, I'm not an incredibly fashion forward individual, so I kind of wear comfort over form. Um, so there's going to be a lot of t shirts, a lot of loose fitting shorts. So if any fashion gurus out there watching my channel wants to do a makeover, I'm putting my hands up. But let's get to see what I'm packing. So everything here is going to be packed. So this is my hard case luggage of choice. It is the Crumpler Clear Vis-a-Vis. -vis. It is made out of very strong ABS. Um, and as you can see, it is clear. So it's gonna be very hard for me to not find it on the conveyor belt at the end of the, the journey, because at the end of the day, it's gonna be unique to me. And I frankly haven't seen anyone else use this anywhere in the world. And I usually get some pretty interesting looks. And I generally, I will um, pack it differently every time. And I'll put in like little, exciting kind of fun thing so like kids can look at little you know my little monkeys or little candy the next thing is my mind shift camera bag and this is the crumpler day pack which I'll be bringing with me so um, for quick kind of trips where I won't need the the big camera backpack I'll just use that. I, I've been able to fit in my full DSLR, GoPro, the Sony's um, Alpha 6500 that I'm holding, as well as a Joby Go Gorillapod. Moving on, I've got my Vape 26550 charger. That is my little GoPro kind of bag shoulder strap. This here is the charger for the Zhiyun or Ziyun Crane Plus battery. My GoPro Hero 6 and hands down the best mount you can ever buy. This is the Rams mount. Seriously, it affixes to any flat surface and it ain't coming off. This is the Zhiyun tripod which comes with the Crane Plus but it has a universal mount, so I actually can affix this to to the small Sony Alpha 6500 that I'm using now. Obviously, my Nikon D850. The Zhiyun Crane Plus. A Nifty 50. Two e-cigarette juices, or vape juices. 
just a few consumables for my vaping habit. I have two UK slash Malaysia slash Singapore power adapters and one Australian. Two Mavic Air batteries. My Boyer um, corded lav. I won't be using this for most of the trip except for when I'm doing food reviews and mukbangs um, in flight because um, this will, will only kind of capture my voice. My Joby Gorillapod with a quick release. So I have this on my tripod, um, on my grain and my obviously this Gorillapod so it's easy to interchange. All the cables I will need. Now you're thinking, wait a second, you've only got two types of cables, that is correct. I have, I always pack multiples of each one because A, we have lots of devices which use these universal um, connectors. I will always have one in check-in luggage and one in hand luggage. Um, just in case check-in luggage gets lost en route, I will always be able to charge my devices. Speaking of charging devices, this here will charge my Sony Alpha 6500 batteries. This is for the Nikon um, D850 battery charger for my MSI Workstation Beast. Moving up, that is my passport case which I have all my currencies as well. My Crumpler wallet, Mavic Air remote. Mavic Air. These are my filters for my camera. So I've only brought the ND filters up to 64 and graduated filters. This here has all my batteries for my um, vaping batteries, um, Sony and Nikon batteries. That's a two terabyte hard drive. No, sorry, my apologies. That's a three terabyte hard drive. Um, if I need more, I'll buy it when I'm in Asia. Combo Plus pack for the Mavic Air comes with that. That is my LED, kind of portable LED light. Backup Ray-Ban glasses. Memory card holder. Toiletries. Backup pair of sneakers. My tighty whitey, so in this case blacks. Um, my underwear. Pajamas. I've got a pair of running shorts and swim shorts under there. I've only, I'm only bringing three pair of shorts. Um, once again, they're all kind of not fashionably aesthetic, but they do the job. One thing I, everyone who knows me knows that I have a sock thing. I don't like wet socks, so I always overpack socks and will always have a, a backup a pair in my bag at all times. So if I feel that my, my feet is even starting to sweat, or get wet or stink, I will always change my socks. I know this is very old school. Handkerchiefs. I always have hankies, especially when I'm traveling to Asia. I will be sweating profusely. Then obviously I've got my t-shirts, I've got a polo and lots of shirts. One thing I didn't realize is that most of my shirts are black and dark, so that's going to be interesting. <clears throat> Two best things, coffee and a vape. <sighs> One thing I forgot to actually put out, which I always bring on every single trip, and this is a, a big important tip always bring a power strip or a power board because no hotel, no hostel, no BNB, no guest house will ever have enough power points for all your devices, especially for digital nomads and for the, you know, moving technology conscious. So you need to always pack a power strip power board and preferably with at least two USB ports because once again, most of our devices are USB enabled these days. It's a little out of sequence, but I realized when I was editing this packing video that I forgot to tell you one very important thing I pack in my hand luggage. 
and that's this little bag here. Gastro stop. You never know when it's going to hit. Literally. I don't know if you have this overseas, but I swear by Advil liquid capsules. Very effective, very quick acting. This is the Aesop version, but this is the um, like a hands-free sanitizer. You can use whatever brand you want, but for me, um, I use the Aesop version. And because I like to have a shower, in, depending if I've got access to it in, in an airport lounge, I always like to have a shower. So this buff of my hair goes big, like Asian fro. It's horrible. It looks terrible. I mean, it's horrible now. And I've actually got something in there. It looks like a freaking helmet. So can you imagine if I have a shower in an airport and I don't have hair products? So I use the Aesop Wild Lime hair polish. It just gives it a little bit of weight. Um, not too much and I just love the smell of wild lime. It's so nice. Also highly recommend, one thing I forgot to tell you to pack in your check-in luggage is lots and lots of calico bags or plastic bags because you're going to have dirty laundry, dirty clothes, filthy muddy shoes um, and you will always need those bags and depending on the country you're visiting some countries no longer give you supermarket you know those once off plastic bags so for example Melbourne supermarkets just recently changed that they will no longer be providing free of charge single use plastic bags you now either have to pay for their permanent bags or bring your own so I always recommend have lots of those bags in your check-in luggage. But that's how I pack. Not the cleanest, not the most efficient, but with the current kind of spacing I have in there, it kind of gives me sufficient room if I buy any souvenirs. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment on how you pack if you don't know where you're going and how long you're going for. And if you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe and bell notification buttons below. And if you haven't visited our Instagram account yet, please do so now. So till next episode, bye.